Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So, in this video tutorial, we will start by making this practice exercise. So, hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. So, switch to new workspace and we will start by making some sketches here. So, go to create a sketch and on the very front plane, start by making a profile. Uh, let's say from here align vertical and press D for dimension and make it 15 in length a smaller one press L again and from here to here make a line of 200 mm like this now press L again and one one with 75 mm in length and from here to here make line like this and join this point you drag this dimension down press T again and make it 100 I don't know some dog is barking outside my home so I can't help this at all so let's make it 145 yeah 145 seems fine and this dimension was let me think about that uh, this dimension was I think 75 no 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 uh, let me just check the exact value of this dimension let me just check I forgot the uh, value of that dimension so okay 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 so this is already constrained you don't need to check I make it out so just from this point just delete this line and this line okay just undo it now delete this line and press L again and from this point to this point D again and make this handbrake now if I just right click on this point and make it fix you guys can see the sketch is already fully constrained you don't need any uh, uh, particular dimension here so okay okay one more thing this dimension was not 75 it's actually 45 so let's just make it 45 okay seems beautiful and finish the sketch now once done extrude it in any direction you want and the distance is going to be 100 mm press shift and n to enable the color like this beautiful now go to construct and there is an option called plane and angle so this is going to be our line and I'm going to construct a plane at 45 degrees like this and press D again uh, sketch again and on this sketch and from the center this is the center line press D again and draw one vertical center line here press C for circle and make a circle of dia 40 here and press D and from this point to this point make this dimension as 45 <coughs> and press L again and from this point join this line and do the same for this space also now you may finish the sketch now click on extrude select these two forces and the direction would be and the extend direction be V2 all uh, to an object and select this space as an object and the operation would be join like this press D again and from the center point <coughs> press C and make a hole of 15 mm diameter uh, and extrude it and make a hole of depth minus 20 like this now press sketch on this plane press C again and make a circle of 32 mm and finish the sketch and extrude this face up to a distance of 4 mm like this now once turn click on create a sketch on this face start by making press C and start make a circle like this without any dimension go to tangent and make this tangent with this one and this face tangent to this one so it will get tangent relationship with those two so diam diameter is already constrained now press L for line and from this point 
uh, where it touches the circumference of the circle make a vertical line so that it meets this one press L again and from this point to this point and yeah. just close the sketch by making it here now you may finish the sketch like this now click on the circle this face this face you may or you may not uh, do this for now <coughs> the extension type would be all and operation would be join like this and you may press ok <coughs> now press C again and on this very face center draw a circle of 20 mm dia finish the sketch and make a hole up to a distance of minus 20 once done click on create a sketch and on this plane create a sketch press C for circle and make a circle like this now make it change in relationship with this line now you may drag it like this and the coincident relation between this point and this point now press now you may decrease or increase the uh, size of the uh, curvature here so drag it like this press D again and the dia is going to be 205 and press enter and finish the sketch okay okay one more thing uh, we only need this profile okay okay yeah this profile so press extrude and select this profile and object would be extend type would be to an object and select this plane it will give a beautiful cut up to that point now click on create a sketch again and from this point press L again draw one horizontal and one vertical construction line like this let me just drag it to downwards and go to offset select this line and offset it on one side up to a distance of minus 3 and do the same for the other as 3mm now repeat the same for this line 3 on each side first one is negative and second one is going to be positive now we have a line click on this sketch and close these sketches just close this so that we don't have any option left so finish the sketch now click on extrude select these profiles that we need to cut and extrude cut it downwards up to a distance of minus 2 and press ok yeah this seems fine now go to fillet select this edge this edge this one and this one and give it a radius of 20 ok 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 ok, okay, okay. 20 is repeat it and make it of 10 mm radius so this completes our exercise on okay let me one let me just check one more thing i think i have okay this dimension seems too large so i am just going to decrease it let's make it 190 or 150 and finish the sketch now yeah this seems fine and you can just click a to enable the appearance and <clears throat> my personal favorite is definitely the mirror finish so uh, you guys can check that out that is my personal favorite so search mirror clear and drag your cursor down here's the mirror one and select it like this and press shift and, and to disable the colors and you have the automatic colors that you require here so hope you guys will enjoy don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day